Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have Foot Fantasy Team Number 2 and potentially some crazy packs in the store guaranteeing you a boosted percentage chance of packing promo cards. Yes, we have some pack code to look at and of course a lot of leaks because we know the full team that is going to be in packs today and a lot of other players like the SBC players and some of the heroes that are going to be in packs for Fantasy Foot Team 2 today. And with all this going on and some other SBCs refreshing, namely that hero player pick, are we going to see some panic on the market today? We'll talk about that more in today's video. If you're excited for a big promo Friday, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Let's start from the top. We're getting right into things in this video. Let's look at the leaks for fantasy team number two because what I want to do is just kind of show you guys these leaks and talk a little bit about how this is crazily different than how we usually get leaks, right? Yesterday, Foot Scoreboard, who usually tweets out updated pack code, which we'll look at in a bit, and uh, you know, stuff added into the code of the game. Usually that's all that this account tweets out and Foot Sheriff tweets out the leaks. But yesterday early, Foot Scoreboard just said, okay, EA added all these players in the game. Here you go. Here is the full entire leaked team. Now, I also believe that this team here in this list shows some SBC players like Nick Lima, who was actually added as an SBC yesterday, right? Also, Subbitzer is in this list and he is leaked to be an SBC by foot sheriff so i believe a lot of these cards will be in packs today but not all of them and i want to talk about a few of the cards that are in here some of the most exciting ones and why i actually think this team looks better than team number one now first of all right you've got some big name players like ruben diaz subasly up meccano edin hazard diogo jota emre Chan. don't sleep on that card that could be a really really insane card uh, as a part of this promo uh ben Acer is also another one that is very very exciting so i want to look at those but firstly we do have the confirmation from foot scoreboard as well about all of the heroes and their nations di natale udinese um gomez is stuttgart or fiorentina i honestly think guys the mario gomez sbc might be tomorrow on saturday so we'll see what drops today but um, Morientes, Real Madrid, right? That's a new information we have there. Papin is going to be Marseille. Rafa Marquez, New York Red Bulls. That's a little unfortunate, I guess, um, that you'll have the MLS links. But that might be nice. If you do need some MLS links for, like, Gareth Bale, right? If you're trying to fit him in your starting 11, that might be a nice MLS hero now uh, for Foot Fantasy that you'll be able to do that with. So those are some of the new cards. These are the official stats, I believe. Uh, for Morientes and Papin. Not amazing, but again, if I compare the cards that are coming as heroes right now and today, Di Natale, Okocha, Dirkite, Papin, Marquez, Park Ji Sung, Alo Rayren, and Morientes, I think that is on par, maybe just a little bit better than the Team 1 of Heroes. I know we have Ginola in Team 1 and stuff like that, but that's a very, very expensive card. I feel like there's a lot more usable and attainable uh, fantasy heroes that are going to be coming today on this game. Now, let's take a look at some of the other players. We'll talk about Sabitzer in a second, but Eden Hazard, and these are the official stats, a really big boost from 84 rated. I know Hazard had that 88 rated like World Cup, whatever card, but so few people have that one. I almost think it doesn't count. Um, this card right here looks nice. Hopefully they do out some other upgrades on the card, you know, maybe a skill move or a weak foot upgrade EA. We wouldn't be mad about that. The problem is with some of the players that are in this team too, yes, they're representing some of the bigger clubs, but specifically for Hazard, is this going to even upgrade? The man is barely seeing the pitch and barely seeing time playing, which hurts his chances to upgrade, right? Again, as you think about it, you get a plus one for winning a game. For three appearances, you get a plus one in the next six games. Two goals or assist or two clean sheets, you get another plus one and avoiding defeat. So with this hazard card, if he doesn't see the pitch in the next six league games, uh, unless somebody at EA is going to pay him a little extra to put hazard on to get this upgrade, you know, you're looking at maybe a plus one on this hazard card and that's it. So we have to factor that in, especially for his card. That is a very hype card to have and it's a nice, uh, probably very playable FIFA item, of course, but... Stuff to keep in mind with that one specifically about the potential upgrades. Another French center back also today. What do you know? Upa Meccano. This to me looks really, really good. 85 pace, 87 defense, 90 physical. He does have a pretty bad pace split. That might be a problem for his card. But I think this is going to be a very OP and meta card in a couple of weeks from now, when the upgrades start to roll out, you would, of course, expect this to go to a 90, 91, uh, most likely, right? Getting three upgrades. 
that would be a really, really cracked card in a few weeks from now with all the upgrades um, added on to it. Ruben Diaz, first promo card of the year for him. This card's going to be super meta as well. I, we were talking about it on the stream, a, pred a price prediction for him. I'm saying maybe today around a million coins, kind of like Saliba, but I think he might drop off a little bit. He's going to be super rare, I believe. 90 rated is so high rated. It's going to be tough to pack, although we do have some more info about that today, but maybe around 800K. Um, to a million coins for this card today for a day one promo Friday. Diogo Jota, a very meta FIFA card as well. And let's be honest, guys, hats off to EA, right? We always complain or sometimes complain about EA not being original with putting out promo cards. First promo card for Jota this year. First promo card for Hazard uh, on the market. First promo card and special card at all we've seen for Ruben Diaz and a couple of the other guys that are in this team. So props to EA. Uh, for doing that. Benasser is going to be in here as well, of course, had the very, very popular Road to the Knockouts SBC. It's not a big upgrade over his Road to the Knockouts, but this is a live card once again. AC Milan links, very, very exciting uh, for have that to have that card in the game today. And then Tagliafico, this card looks pretty good as well. He needs three upgrades though. He needs to eclipse that 90 pace, eclipse, eclipse that 90 pace threshold Three upgrades for this card if he gets there. This card will be team of the season level. I just wish they would have boosted his pace to start off with. Imagine how hyped this card would be right now today in this game if it had 90 pace. So the stats here for most of these fantasy foot cards look solid. They don't look amazing, but they look solid, right? And again, representing some of the bigger clubs that didn't have any cards in team number one. That's why I'm looking at the team that we have coming in packs today and saying it's a little bit better in terms of Okay, some of these guys have very good upgrade ability with teams that are going to win games, players that are going to play in just about every single game, and hopefully get some upgrades as well. That's stuff to consider and think about as we head down the line. So those are all the cards that are going to be in packs today. Of course, I would expect three or four of them to be withheld because mini release on Sundays, right? They do that every single promo week. I would expect to have a mini release sometime this weekend. So if we're missing three cards today, they would probably be coming on Sunday. Now, SBC content, just to talk about that really fast, right? Player SBC every single Friday, right? Last week we had Depay. He was our player SBC. Um, and I think there is a leak right now for a player SBC. And it's going to be a pretty big one because it's from a very big club. And this club actually went out and won yesterday in the Europa League. There's hype around this club once again after the big defeat last weekend. Sabitzer. A new transfer to Manchester United. Stats are predicted here. And this is where it's going to come down to how the market's going to move today. It's going to be based on this card at least a good amount. Because if Manchester United links, um, if this card's very, very good, Manchester United links are going to be in very high demand. But it all depends on the price and how good this card is statistically. If it is anywhere near decent value and the stats look good, so many people are going to want to get this SBC done. All your other Manchester United cards are probably going to go up in price, right? At the same time as that, we do have that uh, hero player pick that's refreshing today in SBCs as well. And that's something we have to talk about regarding the SBC market and how it's going to impact the market as a whole today. Um, so this is our SBC. I honestly think this is coming today. Like I mentioned, the Mario Gomez, I think it's going to be tomorrow. Um, and But there's more SBCs that are coming today as well. So specifically talking about the subits or watch out for the Manchester United links and watch out for other midfielders in the Premier League or even in the game in general. If this was to drop, we remember subits or SBCs from years past where they were very, very expensive. Hopefully that's not the case this year. Hopefully EA drop us a good value SBC. Uh, that we can have some fun with. Now, speaking of more SBC content today, we've got the big boy SBC refreshing, returning, that almost everybody is going to want to try to do again very soon, and that is the 87 plus base or FIFA World Cup hero player pick. Such a big hit, right? Earlier on last weekend on Sunday, this SBC made the market move a lot. It made fodder go up. And it really dropped a lot of the meta market, which is why I want to talk about this in depth today and talk about the market a good amount in today's video. I think there's a really good opportunity that we will see some market drops today because of this SBC and because of the pack code for boosted pack odds for today's promo cards. 
in packs. But first, this 87 plus hero player pick, right? Even if we go all the way back to last week on Sunday, right? Footbin uh, allows us to do that with their, their new graphs. We go hourly, we go back to Sunday. Serge Nabry was 11K on Sunday. This SBC came out. All of these guys went to about 15,000 coins. I think that 86s went up a good amount as well. And fodder is still up, right? These, these prices are up from where they were. 15K, they went to 17, 18K for these 86s. So if you were gonna try to invest in some fodder today for that pack refreshing, because let's be honest, so many people are going to want to do this again, right? This 87 plus was such a big hit last week or earlier last week on Sunday, 71% upvote, 275,000 coins, a one of five player pick. So many people are going to want to get that done today myself included. I mean, I got Captavia from the first time. What do you, what am I going to get the second time, right? Like a Yaya Toure or something? I absolutely would like to try it again. So watch out for, I would say, 85 and 86 rated fodder, maybe 87s. These cards, if it didn't go up last week, then why would it go up today, right? That's what you have to look at. 87s last week, Hugo Yudis went from like 23k, spiked to 30. I don't know if that was just like his card spiked to 30k. Let's look at like Robertson. Where did he go? Because sometimes you have some cards that spike a bit extra. Robertson went from 23K all the way. Okay, he barely went up. He went from like 22 to 25. So not a very big spike on most of your 87s. I don't know if that's a great investment for today, but they're, they're down pretty low at about 20,000 coins. So they could be going up today. Watch out for your 87s uh, since they are pretty cheap. Maybe 20,000 coins for those could be solid. Uh, but then since that SBC didn't have super high rated SB, uh, requirements inside of it, a lot of your higher tier markets stayed pretty low and didn't move that much. I would expect to see the same today. Of course, if the Sabitzer has like a really high rated squad in it, but it's still a good value somehow. Like if it's two squads and one of those is an 88, you know, that might mean some of your high rated fodder would move, but I doubt that. Today for like your 90s, your 91s, for those of you that want to invest for the next icon pack, that would maybe be a bit more expensive than a hero pack, today's gonna be a day where you really wanna watch out for these cards. If they drop a little bit more, a decent amount more, it could be a great investment opportunity on the really high rated fodder as this hero player pick is going away, of course, right? Uh, and we would expect probably on Sunday when this goes away, a new icon pack would be coming in. So that's something to watch out for. Also for a fodder investment, I know a lot of people are looking at man of the match cards today uh, for a potential investment as well, specifically like Casemiro as one of the cheapest 92 rated cards in the game. Here's what I have to say about this. Casemiro and all these man of the matches are still going to be in packs today at the content drop. According to the loading screen, according to the messages in game, it says these guys will go out of packs on Saturday, which means they will get supplied today, which means you probably don't want to invest in them until after we have packs opened and lightning rounds going and even weekend league rewards starting to be opened on the game today. So I would not invest in Casemiro or Fred man of the match or any of those man of the match cards until at least tonight, later tonight, maybe tomorrow and Saturday, we'll see where the market goes. If you do want to invest in one of those though, kind of just be careful with that. Now, let's talk about the store because this is where today, honestly, today could be really interesting and we're going to talk about some market stuff here with this because we've had the winter rare players packs for a while, right? This has been like the lightning round pack. It's like a 50K pack with additional golds inside of it. Now, we're, there was a pack code that was updated yesterday that was uh, just updated again a couple of hours ago. And we, we talked about it on the stream, but it's different now, right? We On the stream, we looked at these halftime rare players packs and we've had the halftime packs added to the code for a while. They have not been dropped in the game yet. But yesterday, EA added a boosted and an ultimate halftime players pack that talked about boosted chance of receiving players from the current campaign. They just updated that pack code a little bit ago. They changed the name and they changed the actual text and the description of the pack as well. We now have a refined winter rare players pack and an enhanced winter rare players pack. Guys, I think both of these packs are coming today and I think they are going to be lightning rounds. And this is why this is very, very important information because inside of these packs, you get a boosted chance of receiving fantasy foot players. The boost does not apply to the heroes, but for fantasy foot players in packs today, which we're assuming would be team two, you get an extra chance of packing those cards. Boosted chances will be seen in the probability screen. Uh, it says include 16 
items, all players, I believe all in tradable. So it's actually not that different from a 100k pack. It's basically this winter rare players pack that we have right here in this game. Um, but what you're going to be able to do is get yourself an extra chance of packing fantasy foot players. So one thing to notice right now is the winter rare players pack for team one of foot fantasy has a 6.3% chance of packing a fantasy foot player. The refined winter rare players pack, um, maybe it will have 12. I don't know. 12 would be a lot, right? And you think about it, that means that the new cards that are going to be in the game today, fantasy team two are going to have a lot of supply, like a lot of supply. So that's really, really interesting that we have to watch out for today is these two packs, the enhanced and the refined winter rare players packs. I believe they're going to drop in the game today as lightning round packs. And that is going to get a lot of people to spend FIFA points, right? Anytime you think about, oh my goodness, I have a better chance to pack the cards that are in packs. Like people always complain about fantasy cards or new promos or campaigns remember team of the year right they were so hard to pack or every single week you hear people saying like man i wish these cards were just easier to pack so that i could have some fun in this game well here's ea saying hey guys you have an opportunity to do that today if you spend FIFA points or coins to open these packs. And that's where I feel like the combination of those packs in the store, depending on how good the weight is, and the hero player pick SBC refreshing today, guys, I really think we could see a market drop off today. I think we could see prices after content going lower if the pack odds are really good and people start opening those packs with coins to try to gamble on Team 2 today. And if the hero player pick, like it did on Sunday, uh, drops the market overall as well, I just feel like we might see some prices drop today. Now, that's not to mention we will also see some prices moving up, moving around as people still buy teams and play weekend league and all that good stuff. But I would just continue to be careful with anything that I own in this game. We talked about selling cards earlier in the week because the news about foot birthday really started to make this market feel kind of just meh, right? That was the word that we jokingly used earlier on in the week. Just meh is how this market feels. A lot of the fantasy cards are down from where they were. Some of them have rebounded back up a little bit. Like uh, Saliba was 1.03 or something like that at a really, really low point. And right now Saliba is back up over 1.1 million coins. So there is fluctuation with these cards still. These are going out of packs. They will not be packed today, of course, unless EA do something crazy. But I just feel like today the market could, again, take a little bit of a turn downwards with prices going lower. We also have some more good content that's going to be released today in the game. Not one, but most likely two Player of the Month SBCs in Marcus Rashford and Kavara Dona, right? Those were two Player of the Month SBCs that were leaked uh, by... FIFA Romania, right? We're going to get an 88 Rashford today as an SBC, uh, probably first earlier on in the day today on Friday. And then also we'll, we'll get a Cavaradona SBC. So we had the Osman and the Rashford last month on the same day. I'm expecting both of those today. Maybe EA would offset them by one day, uh, but I doubt it. So, you know, four big SBCs today, Rashford, Kavicha, uh, the SBC for um, the center mid Sabitzer, and then of course the refresh of that hero pack. I mean, there's a lot of content today and you talk about boosted packs in the store, which again, like we mentioned, people might see the boosted pack odds and just start going and opening those packs with coins, which really means not good things for the market. So I would just keep it careful with the market today. I do believe there'll be opportunities to trade. Again, if you're looking at investing in any of these cards that are in fantasy team number one, like Fabian, Isak, Llorente, do I think there's a window of opportunity this weekend? Yes. Would I still wait to buy these cards to invest for a rise? I think so. I mean, a lot of people are starting to you know, look at these cards and say, man, they're about to go out of packs. I should buy, right? Well, I think there's still some more panic selling in our future, which could bring these cards down further, uh, maybe even after this weekend uh, and, and you know, make it a better buy opportunity then. So that's the thing that I'm just a little bit worried about today on this game. Um, and uh, yeah, market wise, I'm going to be trading today, but I'm going to be very careful. You've seen me not spend a ton of coins this week in terms of trading, uh, just because the market has been so just kind of average, right? And the movements have been slow.
and they haven't been that great. Uh, one other tip I would give you today is if you're going to be trading, try to trade with some of the lower budget cards. We're talking cards that are like less than three to 400 K because, um, those cards have less tax. And if you get good deals on them, usually it's easier to flip cards like that on the weekend than it might be, you know, like a very expensive Salah Centurions, uh, card that I'm looking at right here, you know, where there's a lot of tax that you have to overcome to make a successful flip on the card. So that's just kind of stuff I would think about today. Be careful with the cards you have. Be careful with the coins. There's nothing going on with Road to the Finals today. No upgrades, none of that, because all of that stuff uh, is pushed off until next week. But one word of warning I will give you guys is there were some movements yesterday. Um, you know, Martial's card is about the same price as he was, but Martinelli, on the other hand, is down. Martinelli is 1.06 at the moment because Arsenal drew against Sporting. Now, this card still has, if you think about it, just as good as a chance to upgrade um, before the game yesterday uh, as he did, you know, now, right? The, the, it's aggregate tied 2-2. The second leg is at the Emirates, so you'd imagine that Arsenal would be able to pull it out. They would go on to the next round, and this card would get upgraded. Keep a close eye on Anthony Martial and cards like that. Also, Miranda, right? He is a card from Batiste, right? With Man U winning yesterday. I believe it was 4-1, right? Martial is up a little bit. Didn't rise that much. Miranda is down, right? Yes, it's technically still a live card, but at this stage, down 4-1 to on aggregate doesn't look that good. So be careful with this card. Um, it's basically considered to be not live anymore. If you think about it that way, kind of like the, uh, like the Lucas Mora and those, those cards where those are of course officially out, but just keep a close eye on these road to the finals today. Um, as they're probably going to be fluctuating in price a good bit more. Look, again, we talk about this every time post game, even if a team wins and does well, Cards always drop post game. Chiesa was 810, and he, what was he during the game yesterday? He was 900K, and they still won. Uh, I believe they won at least. Let me double check that. I'm pretty sure Juventus won against um, Freiburg, right? Didn't they win? Yeah, they won 1 0. So, uh, you know, that card is closer to getting an upgrade, but it's down in price. It doesn't make sense, does it? But it does when you think about these games, and these cards always drop after the game because people think, oh, the upgrade's coming, but it's actually not until next week. So just keep a close eye out for today on those cards. And those cards will not be, uh, you know, immune to panic. There could be panic selling on some of those road to the finals, which could make them a really, really good pickup um, in the near future if we have some more panic on this game. So I think it's going to be a very content filled day today. A lot going on with the market, maybe some panic heading into 6 p.m. With all the stuff we talked about, people might start to get scared um, and, you know, start to sell off some of their investments and sell off some of their cards heading into the content drop today. So just be careful about that. It's going to be an exciting Friday. We're going to look at all of it. We're going to look at the new content in the stream today. That link is down below in the description. So if you want to check that out there and I will see you guys there. If you enjoyed the video, smash thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching the videos. It's been Nate Food Account and catch you later. Peace out.